The 2000 annual conference of the American Family Foundation on Heresy and the New Millennium reported that the American Family Foundation held a seminar entitled "Heresy and the New Millennium" at the Dumas Bay Conversation Center in the southwestern Seattle on April 28 to 29. The meeting was attended by Hassan of Freedom of Mind in the United States, Professor Richford of Middlebury University, Professor Singer of the University of California, Bakley Rafi. President of CCMM in France, Dennis Bartholomew of Mission Interminist and Santogen Interessante Sect, Knocking of the European Center for the Study of Heterodox Sects, and the Director General of FAIR in the United Kingdom, Eileen Barber, Sociology Professor of Economic and Political Science in London, UK, Hirata Lawyer who studies Arminism in Japan, Professor Nashida. Host Hidaka Shimura, representative of research on science in Germany, Professor S. Kenham Dissinger, a famous American psychologist, P. Ron made a paper report on the topic of filing gone. More than 100 researchers attended the meeting. Harper Rosedale, president of the American Family Foundation, and Michael Logan, executive director, also attended and presided over the meeting. Professor Singer was a pioneer in the study of psychological stress and cause in the world. Her early works included causing all myths and crazy therapies. What are they? Do they work? The seven criteria she set for cause were the basis of this research. One, there was a self-appointed savior who has special knowledge to save believers. Two, charisma. Three, enthusiastic in developing believers. Four, divide me and him. And think that only I can be saved, and he can't be saved. Five, self-centered, worship master. Six, double moral standards. Seven, authoritarianism and authoritarian management. Professor Singer believes that the work of legal theory meets all the criteria. She learned from the material sent to her by Falun Gong that Falun Gong believed that cows were social and involuntary organizations. Professor Singer believed that this definition was only adopted by Falun Gong itself. Few cows in the world lived in groups, and the members who joined them were voluntary. Therefore, the cows should use deceptive means to attract believers and make them give up thinking and become the tool of the cult. According to Professor Singer, she had consulted 44 Falun Gong families in the past year, including 35 families with Chinese backgrounds. The Chinese families she contacted were all women. Their reasons for seeking help were basically the same: their children, grandchildren, and younger brothers suddenly lose contact with their families. When family members talked to them on the phone, they sounded like a voice recording to read Zhuang Fa Lun. The most disturbing thing was that the disciples thought their family members were demons. They believe that those who don't believe in Falun Gong, including their relatives, were opposed to their disciples. Professor Singer believed that Falun Gong was a dangerous cult. She believed that Falun Gong's propaganda means were also very sharp. After she accepted an interview with Radio Canada, her office received a large number of promotional materials of Falun Dafa from Canada and New York. The secretary of the department told her that the department's office couldn't put the parcel she received. P. Ron's research topic was Falun Gong's tolerance and propaganda means. According to her own experience, she was referred by a highly educated Falun Gong disciple at the academic forum of the University of Michigan. It isn't easy to have a rational discussion with Falun Gong disciples. Mr. Ron said that she believed that the misunderstanding of Falun Gong in the Western media was the result of Falun Gong's successful propaganda. Falun Gong equals the human rights issue with their cult behavior, and has won the sympathy of the press in the West. So far, there are only three sources of information about Falun Gong in the U.S. press: Falun Gong, the Chinese government, and the Chinese Human Rights Information Center of Lu Xiqing. In the current environment, the press's judgment of Falun Gong is influenced by Falun Gong and Lu Xiqing. Falun Gong, derided as authoritarian sect by anti-cult experts, insulted Don Latin, a religious writer of the San Francisco Chronicle, said that Falun Gong, a fast-growing Chinese spiritual movement banned by the Chinese government, was attacked by the anti-cult movement in the United States. Other cults and millennium. 
conference held in Seattle, three speakers criticized the heresy. This set has attracted thousands of new followers among Chinese Americans in the Bay Area, New York, and other urban areas. If you want to know what cults are, you just need to read their books and read their self description. The speaker is Margaret Singer, a psychologist at the University of California, Berkeley, who has lonely insisted on fighting against authoritarian religious organizations. They actually say, "Don't think," just to recite the teacher's quotation. At the meeting, Falun Gong critics said that they weren't opposed to practicing martial arts, but accused the founder of the movement, Master Li Hongzhi, who lives in exile in New York, of leading an authoritarian sect, which destroyed Chinese families, opposed the students taking medical care, and tampered with their true theories.